Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino and I decided to make another video regarding the ESA 8 EXP01 expansion cards for the Book 8088 series of computers. So both cards are named the same and the cards are different and so far as this one has this chip over here this one does not this one has three capacitors this one has four and about this one we need to talk and both ones are exhibiting the same issue that they are having the mark of 12 volt over here next to the input jack but if you subject them to 12 volt, then some electrical component will burn through. This one, subjected to 12 volt with center positive, because you see the jack is not described at all anywhere, like you don't know what the center is, yeah? With 12 volt center positive, this one popped this capacitor. Last time I only heard it pop and smelled it, but when I made the experiment again, I actually saw it throw sparks. So it was actually this one, and I just changed the capacitor. It seems to be some 16 volt, 470 microfarad thing. It's weird because I have another 16 volt, 470 microfarad thing that is much larger. So I really wonder, are the specs here even correct? Anyway, so this one unfortunately burned through. You can test this entirely without connecting the book 8088. You just need to connect this thing as you can see it with its like fishtail here. It's completely disconnected from anything. You can connect that to power. Trust me, if you go for 12 volt, center positive you're in for adventures so that was out of question and this one possibly a newer model i had connected to this serial port card and what happened was that the cards capacitor popped the cards capacitor had worked just fine when the card was elsewhere but here, I'm not sure you can see it, it's a tiny thingy, it burned through. So we're having twice electrical defects on two ESA 8X01 cards, which allegedly should allow external powering over, as it is written, 12 volt in order to supply extra power to cards for the book 8088. And none work. So I just regard the design as defective. Like one destroyed itself, the other one destroyed my card. Awesome. Fortunately, beautiful Anhsuna Moon, my book 8088 herself, did not get damaged. Or at least not obviously so. But in conclusion, Indeed, I cannot recommend anyone to power their ESA 8X01 card. The other weird thing which I observed both with my book 8088 version 1 and my book 8088 version 2 is that there is no input from the card. The card, being a serial port card, should have input and output, right? right? Like RX and TX, but it somehow shows only the received characters. So in that regard, it's also extremely of limited usage only. Yeah, that really does it. That's not exactly great news, but if anybody has any hints on how one could fix that oneself, if it is some easy fix, of I'm doing anything wrong with that, I would be very grateful to hear. Thank you for watching. 
I hope we meet again here soon for further adventures. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please be so kind and consider it to join our friendly little club, you know. It's actually a very interesting community. The people in the comments usually have really good suggestions. Like, I learned a lot from them. Yeah, till next time. Have a great time. See you soon and goodbye.